All right. How long to rest? I suppose I'll... All right. How long to rest? I suppose... All right, how long to rest? <coughs> All right, how long to rest? <laughs> All right, how long to rest? I a... All right, how long to rest? How how long to rest? That's a All right, how long to rest? That's a All right, how long to rest? I suppose Up, uh, how long to rest? I sup All right, how long to rest? I All right, how long to rest? I herbs. All that's left is... Neo, are all of the foodstuffs ready? Yeah, we've got space for a lot of food. I'll be making a lot more now, so don't worry. Neo, I heard you're going back on another journey soon? Yes, thank you for everything up until now. Don't mention it, but this is really sudden. Did something happen? I no longer hear the voices that have been ringing in my head. I think I've done all I can in Colsate. So, I guess you were hearing Flamu's voice after all, huh? Yes, I don't have any doubts. And at the very end, I feel like she thanked me. After getting to know Flamu, it made me realize that there are still many ruins around the world. I may not be able to do much, but I still have to try. Waiting alone won't resolve anything. And you still need to find your older sister. You said she was traveling, right? That's right. I completely forgot about that. Is there anything we can do to help? Eska's helped me pack all my belongings, so there's nothing to worry about. Besides, I'm not leaving right this second. I'll find the right time to talk to Wilbel, too. I see. Well, be sure to swing by before you leave. I want to give you a proper goodbye. Thank you very much, Lodgy. I'll let you know when the time comes. So she's already getting ready to leave, huh? Well, I suppose she couldn't stay here forever anyway. Now, what should I do? I built an airship, made it to the ruins. I should really give my future some serious thought. All right, how long to rest? All right, how long to rest? All right, how long to rest? I sup All right, how long to rest? I sup All right, how long to rest? I sup All right, how long to rest? All right, how long to rest? 
All right. All right. How long to rest? All right. How long to rest? All right. How long to rest? I suppose I'll relax. How long to rest? How, 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 how long to rest? Are you guys in? Could you spare a moment for me? What's the matter, boss? The branch manager's here, and he has something really important to discuss with the two of you. I wonder what it could be. Did we do something wrong? I don't know his business myself, but at any rate, he's here, so let's go. Quickly! Hmm. Thank you for coming in the middle of your work. It's no trouble at all. We heard you wish to speak with us? Indeed. As you're no doubt aware, uncovering the unexplored ruins is a major achievement on your record. I attribute the success of the R&D division to the collaboration between teams, specifically you. I think you're making this bigger than you should. I think I'm making this exactly as big as it should be. I've received word from Central City. Yes! In honor of your various achievements as leader, Central Command is awarding you a medal. Among these achievements is Eska's thorough report on the unexplored ruins, which is highly rated. Uh, a special recognition? Is it really okay for me to receive such an award? That's amazing. It's not something they just hand out. You should take this opportunity seriously. Okay. Thank you very much. In addition, I have good news for you too, Lodgy. Yes? For constructing the Dreadnought, which goes above and beyond all expectation. They're welcoming you to become a member of their technical research team. It's quite an accomplishment. Huh? You must be joking. There has to be some kind of mistake, sir. Um, excuse me, was that the central... Uh, what again? The Central Command Research Institution. Simply put, it's where the world's best engineers gather. I can't believe they'd... invite me to the institution. What about the accident? The one you caused? There's nothing to be done about that. We all learn important lessons from mistakes. The knowledge we obtain is worth more than the mistake itself. With your record, our hopes are high. Yes. Thank you very much for this opportunity. It's not a bad deal at all. I doubt they expect a decision from you immediately. Give it some thought, and decide if this is the best path for your career. That's all from me. Lodgy, it's a huge step up in the world. <laughs> I suppose so. Congratulations, Lodgy! It's a little sad to see you go, but I know your talent's wasted here. Oh, Marion, you should be happier for him. Lodgy was invited to join an amazing team. Um, but that means you have to go back. Lodgy? <sighs> Central City. I never thought this opportunity would come. Hello? Hmm? Neo! What's up? I was thinking about leaving town soon, so I was going around and saying my goodbyes to everyone. I see. You're leaving too, huh? What's that supposed to mean, Lodgy? Are you planning on going somewhere too? 
yeah, the truth is. And so, I might be returning to Central City. Whoa, that's amazing! But I'm sure it'll get a little lonely with all you and Aska have been through. Yeah, which is why I'm having a tough time making a decision. What would be best? I could only build the Dreadnought because of everyone's support. Can I just leave all that behind? I think it's best for you to return to Central City, Lodgy. Aren't you going to accept the invitation? Hmm. To be honest, my only goal was to build the Dreadnought. It didn't matter to me where I did it. So when I left Central City, I thought maybe it would be nice to start somewhere completely new. Well, that's a good idea too. If that's what you want, why don't you invite Eska along? She'll probably want to continue working for Colsey, but I guess it couldn't hurt to ask her. I can come back here anytime I want, so maybe it's a chance to see what I'm worth. A new beginning. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll make it a reality if you set your mind to it. Hmm... This is the toughest decision I've ever had to make. I think I'm gonna go back. That'll probably be best for everyone. If you think so, Laji, then I'm sure it's a great idea. I'll need to go talk it over with Eska, too. Where could she be? Been looking for you, Eska. Oh, Lodgy, I've been looking for you too. Really? We should have just waited in the atelier then. <laughs> uh, yeah, good point. I've decided to go back to Central City. I see. I'm sure you'll be speeding up the ranks over there. Compared to that, I'm. What are you talking about? The only reason I got this offer is because you helped me get this far. I can't take all the credit for this myself. It goes to everyone. I couldn't do anything by myself. But that's... that's the same way I feel. We've been working so hard together. It'll be... lonely. Yeah. But... there's really nothing we can do. We both have to go our separate ways. Separate ways? Yeah, we can't stay together forever. Thank you, Eska. I'm truly glad I was able to meet you. Me too. You've taken such good care of me. It's been so much fun. I'll write you when things settle down. I'm sure we're gonna have a lot to catch up on. I'll write you so many letters. Even if we're far apart, let's keep talking. Then. Maybe someday.
All right, that's it for my stuff. Has this day finally come? It feels like such a short time, but thank you for teaching me everything you have. Yeah. Um, is something the matter? I... actually... um... Are you ready? The airship's about to leave. Whoops! Am I interrupting? No, it's nothing. Let's go. Uh, huh? What were you about to say, Lodgy? Hey! Lodgy, did you forget anything? That's the fourth time you've asked me that. But, but... You have so much to take with you, I have to be extra sure you're not leaving anything behind. I'm not. It's time to go. Uh, but... Come on now, don't make this any harder for him. Do your best on the other side. We're cheering for you. Thank you for all you've done, ma'am. I think you're the best boss I've ever had. Hey, stop that, will ya? You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Marion! Oh, not you too, Eska. Please, save it for later. Please take good care of yourself. Don't forget to eat and exercise, no matter how busy you become. Thank you, Linka. I'm sure you have a lot of dangerous missions ahead, so you take care of yourself too. Uh, Linka, you're the same as usual. We're not saying goodbye forever. But Waji may never come back again. To be honest, I don't want him to go either. But telling him that will just make it worse, won't it? Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, thank you for your honesty. And all of you, for everything. But you know, Linka, you can't keep a poker face like that all the time. Smile once in a while. How can I smile when I'm so sad on the inside? This is the best I can do right now. Ah, uh, Lodgy! <laughs> Oh, don't cry for me, Lucille. Let's make this a happy parting, yeah? Come on, Lucille. Say something to Lodgy. I don't want you to leave. I want everyone to be together. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that, though it was on all of our minds. Are you really leaving us? Really, really? Yeah. Lucille, you're the best too, okay? I know you've got what it takes to be great here. <laughs> you can't go! Oh, oh no. I need to change the mood here. Lodgy, um... Please, take good care of yourself. You too, Eska. I know I wasn't here long, but... Thank you. For everything. I'll be going. Hmm? I'm going to become a really, really great alchemist. Even without you, Lodgy. I can do it. I promise you. So, Lodgy, you have to do your best, too. I'll be cheering you on, okay? Sheesh, you're all so selfish. Stop trying to make me feel guilty by crying at me. Thank you, Eska. You do your best. I'll be cheering for you, too. I don't think I'll go back to Central City. There's gotta be something new I can do. If you think so, Lodgy, then I'm sure it's a great idea. Thanks, Neo. 
I'm going to think it over a little more. Now then, if I'm going to start my life over, where should I begin? <laughs> I really had never considered a future outside of sticking to my career. I wish I had someone to talk to at a time like this. Yeah, a few people come to mind. Who'd be the best? Okay then, there's no time to waste. Ah, I see. Yeah, that does sound like a tough decision. What are you gonna do now, Alwyn? Are you gonna keep working for the maintenance department? That's not a bad idea, but no. Do you remember when I told you I wanted to explore the world? Well, I do have quite a bit saved up now, so I think I can afford a next-generation balloon. Whoa, I'm impressed. Balloons aren't cheap. What good's a dream if you never fulfill it? It really wasn't that much. It's just... Well, to be honest, I'm aware of my limits. I might not be capable of all that much. Alwyn... <laughs> Don't make that face at me. I'll be fine. Actually, I was curious as to what your next move's gonna be. Because if you're not doing anything, you know, you're more than welcome. I'm ready over here, Alwyn. Hey, that's a good look for you. I'd say the maintenance uniform's better than your normal clothes. Really? How are preparations on your end? I just finished the final checks. We can leave any minute. Are you sure you're okay with this? You don't have to join me, you know? Don't make me repeat myself. I want to see what's on the edge of this world, too. Marion and Eska wanted me to stay behind. But I guess I just can't hold the adventurer and me back. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We were able to use the Dreadnought to get around last time, but now we're on our own. Still, we bought and modified this bad girl together. I can't think of a better team. We're going to cross that empty expanse. This is going to be a rough trip. You must be crazy to want to cross those lands. But so what, right? We already did the impossible once when we built the Dreadnought. If we're working together, there's nothing we can't do. You're nuts. I guess that's what makes you so impressive. Thanks a lot, Laji. This would have been a really hard excursion if I was on my own. Having a colleague by my side makes this a lot more palatable. Same here. So don't stress about it. <laughs> I guess we're both pretty similar after all. You think so? Maybe this won't be so bad. All right, let's lift off. The moment we leave the depot, there's no turning back. You forget anything? No, I'm ready for this. That's the spirit. I'm counting on you, partner. Yeah, let's go. To the edge of the world. I don't think I'll go back to Central City. There's got to be something new I can do. If you think so, Laji, then I'm sure it's a great idea. Thanks, Neo. I Now then, <laughs> I wish I had... Yeah, a few people. Okay then, there's no time to waste. I see. So the two of you have decided to come to me? After thinking it over, I don't really feel like there's much for me in Central City. Threya, you're going to keep working here in Colsate, right? Of course not. I was thinking about taking this opportunity to move to Central City myself. Huh? Is it because you've done everything you can do here? Yes, and I'll have to study a mountain of new reports once I get there. Being out in the field is nice for research, but it makes getting your hands on new documents much harder. Say, I have a suggestion for you then. How would you two like to start careers as historians? Us? We don't have nearly as much knowledge as you do. But... What are you talking about? We've worked together. You two would make excellent assist... Er... Uh, researchers. Do, do you really think we'd be good at historical research? The mysteries of history? The unsolved puzzles of the past? It does sound appealing. I have no doubt you'll make excellent colleagues. So, what do you say?
Hey, Logi, could you proofread this for me? Sure, no problem. I've just finished my fact-checking, too. You're a lifesaver. I just have one more pal to get through. Freya, Logi, what do you want to do about dinner? It's already ready. Oh my, look at the time. Sorry, Eska. We'll eat a little later. Just put it over there for now. You always say that, but you never end up eating anything. It's crunch time, Eska. But, okay. I'll have a bite. Here you go. Hmm. Hmm. This is pretty good. I think you've improved again. <laughs> I hope so. After all the cooking I've done for you. Are you going to be ready for the meeting? It'll be a near thing. We're submitting a brand new theory, so we need convincing evidence. Of course the board will pick away at our sources, too. This is why I hate those staid old naysayers. They haven't made any discoveries of their own, so all they do is try to find flaws in new theories. Y you are a little scary. What was that? Yeah, nothing. We know they're already going to be against us, so we need to come out strong, with lots of evidence. Yeah, if people are willing to accept our new theories, we can transform all of academia. It's only for a few more days. Think of this as our final push. A few more days? What are you saying, Threa? The meeting is tomorrow. Tomorrow? What? Did you just say tomorrow? Um, what I meant was... Tomorrow you should start getting ready for the meeting. You're kidding, right? I thought we still had a few days. We need to change our plans immediately. Eska, you have to help us right away. We'll never have our thesis prepared on time at this rate. Huh? But I don't even understand half of what's in there. You can read, can't you? Please, time spent talking is time wasted. Lodja, you check up to here, and Eska, you do the rest. Thank you. Th that's impossible. Your writing is so difficult to make out. Lodji, forget about that part. Read this and tell me what you think right away. Um, can I just say that this is impossible too? Oh? I thought nothing was impossible for a tough guy like you. There's nothing we can do except pull yet another all-nighter. You guys like to complain a lot, but you still do everything I ask of you. All of my other aides would have quit by now, but you two still stick around. What is it, Threa? You still have more work to be done? I'm trying to tell you that I'm gonna take you out to a nice dinner when this is all over. Really? If Threa's choosing the spot, then I'm sure it'll be delicious. I can hardly wait! Of course it'll be amazing. Now we've got to work right up until our deadline. Come on. Okay then, there's no time to waste. Oh, I get you. So you came all the way to talk about it with me, huh? After thinking it over, I don't really feel like there's much for me in Central City. How long do you plan to stay here in Colsate, Rafer? About that. I was actually planning on packing up and leaving soon. I was talking with Harry. In fact, we were about to go round and say adios to everybody. But we do have a suggestion for you. Uh, suggestion? Yes! How would you like to join us on our adventures? Allow us to extend a formal invitation. Y you mean, you want us to go with you? Being with the gentleman ain't bad, but I think you two have the makings of real treasure hunters. How about we make ourselves a team here and score some massive loot? What do you say? It sounds like a lot of work. Can we really help you guys at it? Hmm, treasure hunting, huh? I wasn't really interested at first, but maybe we are cut out for it. Come on now, what do you say? D did we make it to the end? Seems that way, but be careful. There could be more traps. All right, it looks safe. Hey, over there! Look, there's something! 
do you think it is? Yeah! It's treasure! That's the treasure we're after then? Oh, I'm so glad! This is really impressive. I think we can finally get ourselves a nice meal with this. That we can. Now I wonder what it is. Some sort of device for drinking water, perhaps? No, no, I know what it is. This is some sort of headgear. Um, I think you were closer the first time. Either way, I think this treasure will come to a good amount. What with all the other stuff we found. Um, uh, Mr. Rafer, the other treasures we found, they're not worth anything. W what Hold your horses, that's not what you told me. We tried to tell you several times, but you were too busy celebrating to hear us. We have nothing left in our pockets. Our last hopes are what Harry has, and what's in your hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta be kidding me. Is this true, pal? You said they had value. Academic value, yes, through the roof. Nonetheless, no appraiser was willing to establish a price. To think that such simpletons would be the ones setting the standard on the value of history. Fah! Uh, they just look like junk to me. Well, damnation. I guess we'll just have to settle for what this little feller will get us. Wait, Rafer! Don't move! There's a trap there! What? Don't move what? I'm standing on one foot here! Which way can I move? Isn't this the kind of trap that makes the ceiling cave in? We saw those before. No. I think it's the kind where the walls start closing in from the sides. It could very well be a trigger for a trap door in the floor. Uh, hey, come on now. I can't keep standing like this much longer. Don't move, Mr. Rafer. Um, in these situations, we need to find a substitute of sufficient weight. Oh, man. I can't hold on any longer. <sighs> I wonder what will happen if I just... No! Mr. Rafer, you might kill us all! Why did I decide to come with this guy? <laughs> Isn't that obvious? For the thrill! Well, I'll see the rest of you outside. Toodles! Hey, Harry! Please don't run away without us! Hold it right there, you! Oh, that's it! I'm taking you down with me! No, Rafer, listen to... Everybody run! It's all coming down! Run for it! Damn it, Rafer! I'm not gonna forget this when we get back! Don't sweat the small stuff, kid. As long as you're alive, every day's a treasure. <laughs> okay, then. There's no time to waste. Not always sure what to do all the time either, Lachi? Yeah, going back isn't a bad idea, but I thought maybe there was something else I could do. Hmm. Maybe I can start on my own goal too. Huh? Do you have plans for your life too, Lucille? Yes. I want to help eliminate all disease from this world. Every disease? Is that even possible? It's a long-term goal. But do you recall that epidemic years ago? And how the vaccine took a while? Vaccines. People in Central City can get them easily, but it's not so simple out in remote areas. Did you know that the Ornella Company takes a portion of the profits to help distant regions? I see. I never even considered dedicating my efforts to charitable work. Yes. That's why I want to dedicate my time to doing what I can to save as many people as possible. And, um... I was actually wondering if you, Lodgy, uh, if you'd like to... Hey everyone! Remember, only one serving of bread per person. Please, let the people who are in worse condition have theirs first. We're checking on everyone here. Alright, we've done everything we can here. Good work, Lodgy. Whew. They don't have a lot of food in this area, so we had a lot of work to do. Yes, a lack of proper nutrition leads to a much higher rate of disease. 
Next time, we know to properly prepare enough food beforehand. Maybe I was a little unprepared. I thought I was used to the area, but I underestimated it. <laughs> That's probably because Eska always took care of managing the food for you, huh? I should have taken the time to learn a little more from her while we were still working together. Same here. We need to make better plans or we're gonna run out of food for ourselves, too. Your plans were great! It's my fault for not noticing the flaws when you showed them to me. <laughs> well, if we both missed these details, then there's little we can do. Let's learn from these mistakes, and make sure we apply that knowledge to next time. Yes, that makes sense. Speaking of which, my father was talking about leaving one of his store franchises to you. Oh yeah, that. I haven't really decided. I don't think I really need to have my own shop. It, is that so? But you're an alchemist. Wouldn't having your own storefront help you? To be honest, I think my time spent here, doing charitable work with you, is more valuable. After all, I like being able to help people directly more than just being a researcher all my life. And I... When you say things like that... By the way, you said we had to restock our supplies before the next village. Lucille? Hello? Y yes I'm listening. Uh, I'm sure. You weren't listening, were you? Never mind. Let's go. Yes, let's go, Laji. Okay then, there's no time to waste. I see. If I had an opportunity like that fall into my lap, I'd be considering it too. Because I did give Central City's offer some thought, and I realized I don't really want to be there. What are you going to do with the R&D division from now on? Yes, well, I haven't quite decided. But I'm sure things will keep running the way they are. I'll set goals and make sure my team meets them. It'll be exactly the same. But compared to when it was just Marion and myself, we've really expanded our work capacity. I'm sure we still have a great many things to do. If the two of you want to explore other options, I won't stop you. But I'll keep your seats warm. It'll be lonely without you. But remember, you can come back any time, okay? We'll be waiting. Um, I'm sorry. I know I said some weird things, but... Would it be okay if I kept working here at R&D? I love this place. And I want to keep working with the two of you. Good point. There's no need to try and change your world when everything's working out just fine. There are other ways to spend your life than here. But I do intend to make R&D the best department. As do I. So if the two of you would like to stay, then... Laji, have you finished the application for our next investigation? Sorry, I'll have it done right away. Eska, is the list of ingredients we need for synthesis ready? I heard you were running behind. Just a little longer! There's not much time left! Please hurry, you two! Yes! Lucille's out working with the provisions department. She won't be able to support you two for a time. What should we do? I know R&D has more work to do, but we can't finish it late. Hey, Linka, have you finished that report you promised? I'm starting right now! Too late! I asked for it three days ago! Do it now! Uh, right away! Um, Miss Linka, have you already submitted the application to the provisions department? Not yet. Linka, don't tell me you haven't even looked at the budget we were gonna send to Seoul. Uh, now that you mention it, I think someone asked me to do that. Yes, it was me! Please, get that done ASAP! Uh, where should I start? We have to hurry and submit it, or they're going to lock in their schedule. I'm sure Soul's furious right now. 
Uh, Marion, I-I'm requesting backup. I really think we're in danger here. Ugh, you're so hopeless. Please prioritize your report first. I'll do everything that Eska and Lodgy asked you to do. Thank you very much! Sheesh, I thought you were getting the hang of things, Linka. But you're barely keeping afloat. Are you sure you're okay with this, Lodgy? You're fine with giving up the opportunity to see the ruins? It's okay. I think I'm better suited to working here in the R&D division. <laughs> yeah, this is the best way for everything to be handled. That reminds me! Take a look at this! One of the nearby villages is under attack by a violent monster! Hmm, we can't ignore that! I'd better get over there and see what the situation is! Uh, if you're going, I'm going too! We're running out of raw materials. I'll go with them, boss. I'm sure there are injured people, so I'll bring Lucille as well. Okay, understood. Be careful, everyone. I'm always good in a fight. Please leave this to me. Are you guys ready? All right, I've decided. I'm gonna see how far I can go in Central City. I have so much more to learn. Yes, do your best, Lodgy. I'll be cheering you on during my journey. Thanks. You take care of yourself too, Neo. Let's meet again somewhere down the line. When I returned to Central City, I began sharing my experiences from Colsate with the people here. We designed safer and simpler ways to research dreadnought engines and optimize airship travel. Before too long, I received a decoration and I was promoted and given a leadership position. Soon, I was a ranking decision maker in the same research division that I had once worked for. And today, I decided to do something that I normally wouldn't. All right then, a toast to Dr. Lodge's huge step up in his career. Cheers! You guys never change. Isn't this a bit much? Just because I decided to stop by? I think it's warranted. We're in the presence of Central City Engineering's Chief Tech Advisor. <laughs> I could always tell you were gonna go places. Yes, indeed. Ain't that right, Dr. Lodge? I just wanted to see you, that's all. And you don't have to keep calling me doctor. Don't downplay your achievements. The chief technical advisor is widely regarded around the world. I'm proud to say that I know you. I think I'm the most surprised out of anybody here. But because of my work, I don't get to visit often. Every time I do make it back here, though, you all come around to see me. Thank you. Ah, uh, it's just a convenient excuse for us to go out drinking. <laughs> Um... Uh, he's just kidding. Reefer's usually the mastermind behind these little shindigs. Uh, hey! You were supposed to keep that under your hat! You're making me blush. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that then. <laughs> this is quite the accomplishment, Lodgy! This one's on the house! Duke, can we get another round? Yeah, 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 coming right up. Just juice for me. I guess I'll have another two. Coming right up! Just you wait. Speaking of which, should we have invited the girls to this too? I guess good in them? Hmm, you're right. You just pulled me in here before I could say hi. Maybe we should give them a call. Oh, come on. Ain't nothing wrong with a night drinking with just the guys every now and then. Well, when you put it that way. <laughs> Are you two okay? You've had quite a lot to drink. Perhaps we shouldn't invite the ladies over. You've got a point. You know what the problem is here? Lodgy's just blessed. No matter where he goes, bam, it's cutie city. Yeah, maintenance is full of men. You're making me jealous. Okay, that's true about the women, but there's a lot of stress that goes along with it, you know? That said, they did train me in how to deal with women, so it's made things easier back in Central City. Does that sound like bragging to anyone else? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think he's rubbing it in our faces. Uh, um, I'm not sure I understand this conversation anymore. What the hell? It really was tough. I'm Lodgy. I'm surrounded by cute women. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, you big wuss. Take this and this. Hey, knock it off, Owen. Damn it, you're completely wasted. Yeah, get him, Owen. And let me in on a piece of that action. <laughs> hey, please don't get too rowdy. You're going to start bothering the other people in here. Huh? Oh, don't worry about a little dust up between friends. You kids enjoy yourselves tonight, you hear? Don't encourage them. <laughs> what are we gonna do with these drunkards? Still, it's nice to come back here. I have friends over there too, but... I can't be this open with them. I guess that all the people here in Colsate are irreplaceable friends to me. 